Uh, thanks for coming out uh, for the uh, show. Uh, some of you know me, some of you don't. For those who don't, I should tell you I am a monologist, which means I don't speak with the audience. I talk to you, I won't talk with you. Just leads to fucking trouble. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in that COVID quarantine fucking head of yours. I might as well stick my hand into a basket full of fucking badgers before I talk to people. <laughs> Never turns out good. A while back, I had a table of ladies, about 12 ladies, all in their 50s, a little bit chatty. So I tried to engage them, you know, talk to them. Hey, ladies night out? And they went, no. We're a hen party. And all I said, all I fucking said was, in all fairness, ladies, you can't call yourself hens if you don't have any eggs left. I know, that's all I said. And the feathers were flying. It's true, it's cruel, and it's funny. It's a trifecta of humor there, isn't it really? I'll try to give you a few more of those as we go along. Also, you should know, uh, I swear, I swear a lot. Lived in Britain for about 12 years, picked up a few new words. Uh, I don't swear to offend people. I'm not trying to shock you with the language. I simply see it as the verbal spice, a social satire. And I know a famous comic once said, you don't have to swear to be funny. And that's true, folks, but you don't have to drug women to have sex either, so go fuck yourself, Bill Cosby. <laughs> You're condescending moral hypocrisy. Blow me, you dick. Enjoy your prison pops. It's, that's where I draw the line right there. I'm just saying, swearing's not the worst thing a comic can do, is it really? You know, you might leave tonight because I drop a C-bomb, but nobody's going to wake up tomorrow morning with no memories of the show and a belly button full of swear words. <laughs> By the way, I highly recommend a sativa for this evening's performance. I realize this may be late notice for some of you. Sativa people right up front, gotcha, okay. Indica people, try to raise your right eyelid, let us know you're in there, and I'll just roll a couple of those to you. Uh, cheers to you guys for coming out. It's lovely of you to show up here tonight. Uh, I apologize, I'm cheering you with water. You, you really shouldn't do that, but I, uh, I quit drinking uh, December 23rd, 2016. I was uh, diagnosed with diabetes, but thank you. It's a lovely gesture for plotting my disease, though. And uh, it's okay, it's type 2, we can laugh about it. I can't take any illness seriously. It came in second in its own fucking disease. <laughs> you know it's true. When I said diabetes, you went, oh. When I said type 2, you all went, how about that? I don't give a shit about diabetes. In the big world of diabetes, at the bar, Shingles is kicking the shit out of Type 2 in the corner. Get the hell out of here, little bastard. You're not even a disease, you're a reminder. Go home. See your big brother, Type 1. Tell him he's welcome. He's a real disease. That's why I don't make fun of Type 1, you know, because uh, Type 1 is the serious version of it. That's where your uh, sugar plummets or soars very rapidly. You can go into a coma and die very suddenly, so it's very dangerous. Type 2 is more like your sugar starts to go up a little bit after a couple of days. You get a little twitchy, a little cranky. You might tell a priest to fuck off, but nobody gets hurt. You take your pills, you go back to normal. I know, for years I thought I was an asshole, but apparently it's the disease. By the way, can we get this light a little brighter, please? I can almost see my dead parents beckoning me. <laughs> really distressing. Okay, not everybody laughed at that. Let me explain shit briefly here for you. Uh, laughter, my friends, is a good thing, okay? That's my only message. It's my only intent this evening. It's a very positive thing, laughter, very physical thing, laughter. Every time you laugh, your brain emits chemicals positive chemicals, dopamines, endorphins that stimulate your immune system and can possibly kill a cancer cell. Fuck yeah. So my way of looking at it's gotta be if you'd rather have cancer than laugh at my silly jokes about my dead parents, what kind of miserable bastard are you, huh? Jump on the happy train, let's kill a tumor tonight. What the fuck else are we doing here, huh? Know what a tumor is, my friend? It's the graveyard for the souls of unborn laughs.